So the very first thing we did was hire Robert Kelly, the great poet, to write a poem. And uh, I would just want to read an excerpt. What we do with land, what we can do, map these acres on the sky to offer this land to heaven and see what comes. This thing wants art. What is art? Art is doing for the first time what was never done. Art is the completion of the unbegun. So leave it to a man who builds a house to try to put the sky right on the ground. The Explorations of In Project began with working on issues of abstraction and space. We're discovering links between architecture and neuroscience that we never knew about before. So what's one of the really interesting things is how we need abstraction. The Explorations of In started with Venn diagrams, a number of permutations that were all done in drawings first, and then we did some 3D printed models. And the Venn diagram of spheres intersecting spheres became one of the most interesting things. So this particular model we decided to take further. And then we said, okay, this is more of an object, now let's do the reverse. So this is a negative, and then we decided to get more parallel walking surfaces we would insert a partial tesseract. So this is a fragment of a tesseract inserted into the reversal of the four intersecting spheres. But at a certain point, this object became curiously like a small house, and we decided to make it into a guest house. When we were completing our studies of the explorations of in, a certain coincidence happened, and that is this 28-acre piece of land, which is all forested with rock outcroppings, was up for sale. It was slated to be a five-house subdivision. And suddenly, we have a place to put this experiment, at the same time, saving all this land as a reserve. This house stands for the old argument of form versus content. I say program, just like Lou Kahn said, is just so many bananas. You work with your spatial idea, the inspiration, the spatial excitement, and you find how the functions work. And when you sell a house out here in the Dutchess County area, they go, how many bedrooms does it have? This house has zero bedrooms, but it sleeps five. So. Where do you put the kitchen? Well, the kitchen just happens to fall between the two shifting layers of the house. So that's the kitchen. And there's plenty of privacy in the various places you can sleep. And besides, you can sleep on top of the sphere. The kids who have slept up there say that that's the magic mountain and it changes their life, right? Everything works out as a purpose. And I think it stands as a kind of manifesto for abstraction as a cause in architecture. It stands as a manifesto for ecological developments like geothermal, like recycled glass facade, like solar energy power, the whole roof, organically CNC printed light fixtures, and everything is made out of natural materials and natural wood and uh, handmade. So Javier Gomez, this incredible builder, built it all by hand like a guitar in three layers of very thin wood. So the house is also a, a labor of love in the fact that they made everything by hand, and they built it in less than a year. Here I am in this sphere that's a mental construction of a sphere because it has departed. The other one is the first experience where you enter, you're welcomed, and this one sets you out, looking out west, and the two spheres really work great together. And the third one looks up in the sky. So this is a great place to read and look out.
You don't need to be an architect to understand. The experience of this place engages you mentally and your body and your spirit too. You, you don't have to know all this research that happened in the past to understand the geometry of the sphere and how, in how all these different ways that it engages you. Right. Right now, this sphere of the sun is passing through this sphere and shining on that sphere. So this is an amazing moment. Like, you almost get a cylinder of space passing through. So there are these moments of spatial energy that occur because of the geometry. And my first house was done for my mother and father when I first came out of the University of Washington. And it was built in 1975. And my mother, to the day that she died, was laying on a sofa and she would tell me how she loved to see the pattern of the sunlight on the wall. Architecture, I believe, changes your life. It changes the way you can live life, the way you can see, the way you can feel. And like Winston Churchill says, first we shape our buildings and then they shape us. I think this house has that shaping ability. And where does that come from? That does not come from functions. That comes from spatial energy.